The second wood grain is bird's eye maple. He's now preparing a glaze of classic color medium and dead flat varnish in the proportion of one to one, and then tinted with yellow oxide and raw sienna colorizers. The second glaze he's mixing here is of burnt sienna. Harry applies the glaze to this demonstration board. It's best to practice on a board. The translucency of this glaze comes from the colorizers. The colored particles are smaller than those in emulsion paint, which is usually made up of clays and fillers that give the characteristic opacity of emulsions. Adding varnish binds the colorizers and the classic color medium. He pulls a mottler through the glaze in rapid, irregular strokes to give texture to the glaze. He then softens the glaze before adding more detail with the end of this pencil. You use this funny brush called the wavy mottler. It's got a little uh, wave in the actual handle of the mottler. And if you both press your fingers into the hairs of the brush and move the mottler around and press and release, you get these little ripples that you see in the actual wood, which you then soften with the softener, and uh, that gives you the basis in which to put the eyes, which are then done with this little trick with a rubber at the end of a pencil cut in a circular shape, and you can dot the eyes in and soften that, and you've got the first stage of bird's eye maple. When dry, you can add the second glaze. Harry then drags a piece of torn card through the glaze to add the fine grain lines. Again, he softens the glaze using a master softener. When the glaze has dried, using a colored pencil dipped in water, Harry adds the strong heart grains. Et voila! Harry is currently working on this mirror frame in the Biedermeyer style. It combines bird's eye maple with black colorizer in acrylic lacquer. The water-based media are excellent in that the first coat dries fast, particularly if you've got a hot air gun, and then you can go on to the second glaze coat and create the little uh, grain lines with a piece of card. That's a useful trick. And then the traditional way of getting the harder lines of grain with a crayon can be added, and you've got the whole thing completed in uh, one stage, really.